If you've heard about Janitor AI, then you know how crazy this AI tool is. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can access and use Janitor AI to create and use your own chatbot. Ain't that crazy? Now, let's jump to my computer screen so that I can show you step by step how to do this. Let's go. All right, guys, so the first thing you need to do is head over to janitorai.com, right? And here you can see that I have it in my description below. Just simply hit enter and you will be taken to the Janita AI website. Now you can log in if you have an, already have an account or you can go ahead and register. Now in this case, we're going to register. So we just hit the register button and this is going to take you to a page where you have your email address and password. Now be aware that you must be 18 years old and older to have an account, right? So this is, please be mindful of that. And to, to, to register is very simple. You can register as a, with the Discord or you can register with your Google. So I'll go ahead and hit Google and this will allow me to sign in my Gmail, right? I'm gonna simply select my Gmail account. Now, once I log in with my Gmail account, this is gonna ask me to set up my profile. So I'm gonna have my name there and I'm gonna upload a picture of my avatar, a username, appearance, about, etc. Now for the name, I'm going to just simply call it, let's type it, Andrew. For the avatar, I'm going to upload my picture here. So let me go ahead and find a picture of something that I'd like to use. I believe I have an avatar that I could use. So let me go ahead and choose this. <laughs> this will be my avatar here. And I will just call it the username. I will just make something up. Let's put it like that, for example. And yeah, leave the email. Now about my avatar, I need to, the avatar you need to say about by just simply putting the personality. So that's what you want to do. And here you say the about, this is going to basically tell you what your, what will be displayed on your profile here. And simple for the appearance, you can go ahead and you can write, they give you some example what you should write as it is a 25 year old female or male, whatever it is and beautiful eyes. So you can go ahead and you can write what you want the appearance to be like. So here you see, I just simply fill in some details here of what I would like this to be. And this is just for the purpose of this tutorial. You can go ahead and you can always go back to the profile and you can update this. So this is just for the purpose of it. I'm gonna go ahead and update as a place earlier and my profile is simple updated and I can always go here and I can view my profile I can view characters etc etc right that's basically it now if I go ahead and I click janitor AI this is going to take me back to the main page right where you can see all the different characters here that is on the janitor AI website here you have trending you have most popular right you can go ahead and you can see you can go ahead and you can play around with this so let's say i click on this mia khalifa right that's pretty interesting right if i go ahead and i click that and i try to chat with this chat bot for example you will see what happened there you will see that api is not ready and this needs to be set up and for the next step i'm going to show you how we can go ahead and set up this api all right guys so now once you're inside here's the home dashboard right and to chat with any character right it doesn't matter who let's go ahead and just choose someone so let's see on the females what do we see there uh there are so many oh my god have a look at that one so you see it can get pretty crazy so that's why you need to be 18 year old or more right so what is this let's find someone lonely stay at home mom oh my god let's choose this for example right oh my god that's that's pretty crazy so let's just click chat here now once i click chat here you are you will see that you need to have open it. you will see right here that it's saying that i'm using cobalt right but but for you if you haven't had any api set up it will say you need to set up an api and all you have to do is just click here and click set up api you have two options you have open ai and you have cobalt AI right here guys now for open AI you need to have the chat GPT plus to be able to get open AI keys right and that's what you'll need to generate those API keys so that you can use it with the open AI 
keys. But for COBOL, it's pretty easy. You need a link just like this. And I'm going to get a new link. I'm going to show you how to generate those links, right? So all you have to do is head over to Google and type COBOL Google Collab, right? Once you do that, you'll be taken to this page where you have the GPU and the TPU. You can choose whichever. So in our case, let's just go ahead and open the GPU. Now you'll be taken to this page and all you have to do is scroll down. If you're using a mobile, you need to go ahead and run this one first. Otherwise, if you're on the computer, you just need to use this come here and select, right? Now, what we want to do you now, guys, is leave it a nervous. We want to change this to United and we want to deselect the Google Drive here. And once you deselect the Google Drive, you can go ahead and you can run. You can go ahead and run. So here you will see that I have a United. This always works best. Then Cloud Fear and then I deselect the Google Drive and I'm gonna just hit run. It's gonna pop up, run anyways. And now this is gonna take its time and give me the API. So you'll see that it's downloading its thing there and we just need to scroll down and wait for it to give us the API key. Now, once it's finished, this can take up to 10, 15 minutes, guys. So let's just allow it a moment to generate those API key for us and here we have it guys 97 99 and it should be 100 percent pretty fast perfect and here you have it now we have our api link right here and all we have to do is copy this api link go over back to our janitor ai here on the cobalt and we paste this new api and then we just go ahead and hit save there you have it now we can go ahead and type now if we type there we might get an error let's see no this one doesn't give any error but there's some there are some times when you type here it gives you an error and all you need to do is just head over here on the generation settings then you want to select cobalt ai and you want to make sure that you put this to three to four to 505 yeah 505 you go ahead and save and this will easily you know just remove those errors for you and allow you to use it very fast sometimes these character can take a while to reply but they will definitely re they will definitely reply so let's just wait for this inco to reply and there you have it see you know what <laughs> no sit down and we can talk so here you have it guys they're replying and you this is how you can easily use the janitor ai for free now, the next step, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and create your own character. All right, guys. So now, to create your own chatbot, right? Let's say here in the top right-hand side, you can see create a character, right? You just need to go ahead and click that character, right? You just need to call him a name. I will go ahead and just select a name there. Let's put it like, let's just name this character the it guy right and i will upload a character i will use the same picture that i choose right and here you can see introduction you can just write something about the character short introduction of this character so i give it some information like that right and here we will choose if you want it to be a private or public bot i will leave it on that and here we can be limitless or limit i will leave the rating as limited and here we need to go ahead and choose the gender or character so i will go ahead and choose male here let's leave him as that so here i'll just put the personality as smart right the initial message is the first message that the character will say right so i will write something like hey how can i help you today something like that yeah, so now that you see that I fill all the information that is needed here, we can go ahead and we can create our character. Here you can see that my character is created and now I can go ahead and I can start chatting with my character. So if I go ahead and click chat here, you can see that my character is there and then I can just say something like, My IT guy is replying. <laughs> Here you see that my IT guy replied. So let me go ahead and just ask him something about AI. So I ask it, tell me what is the meaning of AI? And let's see what the IT guy will reply. 
And here is the reply, guys. He, the IT guy gave me a nice description of what AI is about. Now, it might look a bit confusing here with the same images, right? So if I want to go back to my profile here, I can always go ahead and click and change my picture, personal picture. So, you know, I can choose something else. So I will change that from my picture and I will go ahead and update my profile. And if I would go back to here you and continue to chat, you will realize that here there are two different persons, right? So I am Anju and this is the IT guy. Just to avoid confusion if you think that it's, you know, it's a bit confusing. And that's it guys, that's how easy it is to create an account, how to chat with a chatbot, how to connect using the API, and also how to create your own chatbot using Genita AI. So guys, if you're a developer or for whatever need, you might need to come here and create your own character, right? You can use Genita AI to create your own character for whatever reason. And of course, the guys, there are some really interesting characters here that you can come here and you can play around with them. Some really, very, very interesting ones, right? But, you know, don't get caught up in this world of chatbot and sit all day on your computer and using chatbots, right? And chatting around with some really interesting chatbots. But go ahead and be creative and utilize these different AI tools to be productive in life. No, guys, isn't that crazy? That's really crazy, right? If you found some value within this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe to Drew Tutorial channel to see much more videos coming out every week like this one. See you next time.